Um, I, do, I do my ERCPs with the patient in supine position. I find it's just easier to position the patient. However, there are a few uh, adjustments that we have to, have to do uh, when we're doing a patient in supine position. Uh, one thing is that the position of the monitors is in a different location. Second, I often have my back to the patient, so I have to have an accessory monitor to look at to do the procedure. And I need wraparound lead too because my back is often exposed to the C-arm. So wraparound lead is, is an important consideration when doing supine. When doing an ERCP with a patient in the typical prone position, this is the arrangement of the equipment. The fluoro table is in front of me. The patient is prone, of course. The C-arm is coming in uh, at an angle. And my monitors, both the fluoro monitor and the endoscopy monitor, are right in front of me across the bed. I'm standing here at the patient's head holding my scope, my assistant is to my left, and the anesthetist is to my right. So this is the typical room setup for doing supine ERCP. The patient's obviously supine on the table. The C-arm is coming in this way and is as close to the patient as possible. Our anesthetist is at the head. And for supine, you need to have a secondary monitor. So our primary monitor is here both for endoscopy and fluoroscopy, but there's a secondary monitor. And because typically if I'm doing supine ERCP, my back is to the patient and I'm looking at the secondary monitor and also at my x-ray monitor. So that's for, that's the room arrangement for supine ERCP. My assistant usually is standing to my right here. All, she could also stand to my left. If she's standing here, she has an easier view of the, of the monitors.